how to create this flow reflection effect in Adobe After Effects. This is also just a matter of a few clicks and I'm gonna show you how. All right, I've got my logo animation here. I've used my own logo and we want to create this floor reflection to support this 3D look, this popular reflection on the floor. The first thing to do is actually to pre-compose this animation. So select all your layers and then hit Control Shift C or Command Shift C if you're on a Mac or right click and hit pre-compose. In this new pop-up, give it a name. We're gonna leave it as it is, say okay. Now we have this nested composition, okay? Now duplicate this, Control D and the lower one, right click, Go to transform and hit flip vertical. Now what this essentially does when you open the scale value, it just puts the Y value to minus 100. That's all the flip command does. You could basically go in and when I revert that, it's uh, basically the same thing to when you put in minus 100 here and now move it down a little bit. So they barely touch to support this reflection effect like this. Now we want to set the transparency, hit the T key. We set the opacity to 35, maybe even less, 25, okay. And now convert this to a 3D layer. So activate this 3D icon here. And then you will, you will see these handles here. Before we do that, we have to actually adjust the pivot point. So it's right below this original thing because we want to rotate it. We have to have the pivot point right between these two logos. So undo that, click on the lower one and now select the pan behind tool or anchor point tool. I don't know why it's named pan pan behind. It's basically moving the anchor point. So take this anchor point and move it right where the floor is supposed to be. Okay, and now you can actually click this 3D icon and when we rotate the X axis now, see this? This will support the impression of a floor of a 3D effect, okay? And now what we wanna do, we wanna blur this a little bit. So go to fast blur and then set this in the effect controls set this to maybe about five set this to four maybe that should work and then the other thing that i added i actually want this to fade away a little bit as it moves away from the logo so that will support the 3d effect a little more so for that we want to create a new solid control or command y the color doesn't matter because we're going to apply a effect to it and which is which is going to be the gradient ramp this should do. And we want the ramp to begin here, right between these two logos and to end right here, okay? So take this start ramp, take the starting point. This should be here and the end point of the ramp should be right here. Both should have the, a value of 960, so it's straight. And now move this right above the reflection layer and in the reflection layer, set the track mat to luma mat and as you can see it's inverted it's getting brighter towards the logo we don't want that we actually want to swap that go to that fade layer to that gradient ramp and swap the colors okay and that should give you this impression you could even tweak the position of this black and white value maybe take this and move it a little bit away so you can see barely see the, the edge of the logo and when we pre ramp preview this now we've got our floor reflection, okay? Of course, there's a couple of other things that you could do to create different styles. You could have a wet floor, for instance, a couple of things that you could do, but this is a basic technique to create this nice floor reflection and take it, take it away from there, okay? So this is how to create the floor reflection in Adobe After Effects. I hope you liked this video, learned something new. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and I will see you in the next tutorial.